warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Welcome to our video. This video, we are, in this video, we are going to talk about Stack and the implementation of Stack in a program which we will be building using the C++ programming language. But first of all, we will be talking about what is a Stack. So, Stack is an abstract data type in data structure which serves as a collection of elements in the order of LIFO or last in first out. This means that the last element to enter the stack will be the first element to be removed from the stack. And the last element to enter the stack will be at the top of the stack. So we will call this element as top. And top will be the first element to be removed from the stack. We will be using a few operations for our program. And the first one is is empty. This uh, operation we will be using to check if the stack is empty or not. If the, if the stack is empty, then we can enter our elements. And if it is not, and if it's not full, then we can um, insert our element using the next operation, which is operation push. In push operation, we we can insert our elements elements into the stack and the last element to be inserted into the stack will be the top element and the next operation will be pop in this operation we we will be using it to remove the element from the stack from starting from top the next uh, operation is is full this operation will be checking if the stack is full. In case it is full is true, we cannot enter a new element into the stack and we will have to be having some elements removed from the stack to enter a new element into it. And the last one, we will be using operation print. This operation will give us a display of the elements which are contained inside of our stack. Let's see the image that we have here. This is a container. In this case, this container is our stack. And right now, our container is empty. That means the operation is empty will return true. Now, if we want to add an element into the container or our stack, we can use the next operation, the push operation. And with this operation, we, we entered a new element, the character A, into our container. And Next, we can add another element into our stack, a new character that is character B. And now we have two elements inside of our stack and B is our top element, which, which will be the first element to be removed from the stack if we want to remove it. So next, we can add another uh, element into our stack because our element uh, I mean our stack is not full yet now we entered a new character this character C is inside of our container and now our container is full so is full will return true and if we want to insert a new element we have to remove the element on the top so we use pop operation and C now is no longer inside of the stack and we have only B and A remaining inside of the stack we will use the arrays array in our stack uh, to store our data or elements inside of the stack so our elements will 
will be in the index of 0 to index of n, the size of our array. Here we have the image of index and the elements that we have in the array. So a is in the index of 0 and a is the el first element that we have in the stack and it's the index of 0 inside of our array. And next, b is our second element in the stack and it's the in the index of 1 of the array. So if we still have c in our stack, then c is in the index of 2 in the array, but in this case, we don't have c inside of the stack anymore, so the index of 2 is now um, empty. And we can add an element into the index of 2. So next, we will talk about the further implementation of the code in the C++. So now I will describe a case study in our program that our team has created include its attribute and variables. The program created by our, by our team to park the face while using C++. The parking lot system is based on the last concept you put in the parking lot then being the first faisal to come out or it called default, last in, first out. So that the faisal enters through the same door. If the faisal in the parking lot 2 wants to leave but the parking lot near the exit is still not out, the faisal must be temporarily removed first. The data type used in this program is an integer because all data use a number, so an integer is used. Included with the capacity of the parking lot or garage made. There is also a variable for entering the vessel in the garage. It can also be adjusted how many vessels will be included at once so that it can be more efficient in the enter entering the vessel. I will explain both analysis in the form of objects, data types, and implementation of the cost, uses the program, that of the meeting is the vessel packing the bus bus. Number one, the processor and data file will be defined. Just to the data line to define the data file is from the standard input or output string. Number two, data class. First, here, the person, my class, take, integer for text. In all class, we defer. The present the data in the stack. Number three, checking steps. This function will be used to check if the step is empty. The is empty function will quickly check if the following of steps that is equal to minus one or plus if it is not. Number four, adding data to the stack. To input data into the stack, the main thing we need to do is check whether the stack is full or not. If it is full, then you cannot add data to the stack because there is no more available space. So this display the message that the stack is full. If there is room at the file of step 31, then enter the data into the space in data my 2. Number 5. Retrieving data from steps. Before retrieving data, we need to check whether the step is empty or not. Because we cannot retrieve the data that is not in the stack. If the stack is empty, then simply display the message that there is no data in the stack. If there is file data in the file, then display the data by taking the code data from the file and removing the data 
by releasing the top part. Number, number six. Discuss the data on the stack. Hurry when retrieving data from a stack, we also need to check whether the stack is empty or not. If there is no data in the stack, the display on the stack that the stack is empty and the data cannot be displayed. If there is star data, then display the data one by one from the stack using a lock. Number Seven, display the menu. After all the data, variables and function have been defined in queries and interlaces, then we can create a menu with a switch in it. Before displaying the menu here, we display the data on the stack using print stack. So the that the user can see the data in the stack. Next, this space the menu option. If the user selects your first option, then run the first, the first function and the second option will run the full function. As long as the user's choice is not the same as for which is the third choice, the print text function and the menu will continue to be displayed if the user closes the first option where we stop displaying the menu and the application will close. Okay, now I will practice the program that was created with the title Garage Parking. We run the program first. At the start of the program display, it says Empty Parking Garage. Then, there are four menu options, namely Vehicle Entering, which is an implementation of the push function. Second, that's vehicle exiting, which is an implementation of the pop function. Third, namely vehicle inside the garage, which is an implementation of the print function. Lastly, that's exit program. Then, there is an input option if the user wants to select the menu to be run first. If the user wants to add a vehicle number to enter, the user must select the first option, namely vehicle entering. The program will ask how many vehicles you want to put in the parking lot. Here, we try to enter the 5 vehicles. Then, the program will ask the user to enter 5 vehicle numbers, or as many as user input. After that, the user is asked if he wants to enter the menu option again. If so, the user must press the Y button on the keyboard. Then, the menu options will appear again. If the user want to see the output of the previously entered vehicle number, then the user must select the third option. The program will display the stack result of the previously entered vehicle number. If the user want to choose another menu option, the user may press the Y button on the keyboard and the menu option will appear again. If the user want to take out the vehicle, the user must choose the second option. Then, the program will say that one vehicle has been successfully removed. If the user want to see the result of the second menu option, the user can select the third menu option. Then, the program will display the stack of vehicle numbers that have been reduced by one due to the pop function, which brings out the topmost stack. If the user still want to add or want to enter the vehicle again, or if the user wants to take the vehicle out, the user can press the Y button again. If the user want to exit program, the user can press the N button on the keyboard. The user can also enter the fourth menu option to the exit program. So that's how this program runs. Thank you.